Welcome back. A local foundation that provides computers to help kids receive their education gets a big donation from the San Diego COVID-19 Community Response Fund. Joining us over the phone is CEO for San Diego Computers to Kids, Cherie Pierre, to tell us all about the plans with this money. This is very exciting. Cherie, good morning. Good morning, Lauren. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking. This is so exciting. We, we normally have you on the show and highlight the, the amazing families, especially those with family members serving overseas that don't have computers and how you're able to, to partner and, and get them computers, uh, really making a difference in their lives. And now you're helping to do that for so many more kids thanks to this money. So tell us how this came about that you got this $175,000 grant. Yeah, so it was probably the fastest grant we've ever received. Uh, as soon as the schools closed on March 16th, we realized that we were going to get inundated with applications. We received over 7,200 applications from individuals, and five universities reached out to us to buy com um, computers for their families. So we reached out to the San Diego Foundation, let them know that in order to meet this demand and to refurbish those 20,000 units that we had in stock, we really needed more staff and to do that we needed more funding and we spoke to them on monday and by friday they had approved us for one hundred seventy five thousand dollars and that allowed us to bring in 14 full-time IT technicians and they along with my eight staff are working six hour days or uh, six days a week 10 hour days just to get the 20,000 units refurbished and out into the computer com uh, the community as quickly as possible that's really impressive because yeah. it, it takes so much work to do that so how are you distributing the computers is it based on the applications that your website received Yes, the applications and also the partnerships with the universities that have reached out to us. It's really easy. If you go to c2k.org and click on the apply button on the homepage, it gives you an application that you can complete even on your phone. We'll let you know via text that your system's ready. And we have a drive through um, set up in the back of our facility where individuals will just drive up and we can load the computer into their car. They don't even have to get out. So it's very safe. All of our staff is wearing PP, P, or PPE gear and all of the systems are being cleaned thoroughly before they're being uh, distributed to the family. That's wonderful. So how far along are you in refurbishing the, those 20,000 computers you had in, in store? So we're at about the 6,000 mark right now. Um, our staff is, is doing several hundred a day, which if you think about what goes into the refurbishing process from the start we receive the goods to the they're ready to be distributed, that's quite a few uh, computers to be doing in one day. But we're committed to get all 20,000 computers out before July. Wow, that's incredible. I, I mean, we've heard from the, the school district in San Diego being able to hand out more than 40,000 computers because, I mean, so many kids needed them. Are you still getting an influx of applications of people needing computers? Absolutely. We're getting at least 100 plus applications a day, and we don't see that slowing down. Uh, not only are we receiving applications from San Diego County, we've also been contacted from Arizona and Nevada to try to wow. get computers to their school districts as well. And all of this really is in partnership with our internet provider, Cox Communication. They're connected to Pete program and C2K has been working for years together to ensure a family has a computer and an internet uh, access. And yeah, so I was going to ask you about really that. Great need. Mm -hmm. So they can have the, the service as well if, if they run into problems and, and get in touch with Cox. Absolutely. I mean, Computers to Kids will share uh, Cox's uh, <clears throat> protocol on how to get the modem and the internet hooked up. We've been supporting that initiative since 2012, and we're very active in making sure that our families get a computer and the internet that allows them to stay connected, because it really goes hand in hand. Absolutely. So are you looking for further donations? Is this grant money going to get you to the, the goal line? What do you need from the community? 
So the grant money was a huge help, and it's a it's a big thank you to the San Diego Foundation for being so quick in getting us the San Diego COVID Community Response Fund. But we always need more, and this is a wonderful opportunity for corporations who really want to make an impact in bridging the digital divide and supporting the governor's initiative. They have that new task force that they just created that really highlighted that 50% of low-income families in California do not have a personal device at home. 42% of families of color don't have a device at home. So more than ever, our companies and individuals could you know, clean out any unused electronics they have, divert them to computers to kids. We'll make sure they get refurbished and get back out into the community. Also, it's a great opportunity that if you have a little bit of extra um, support and funding, we can certainly use that and leverage it along with what we've received with the COVID fund to be able to get more systems out to these families. Yeah, it's a wonderful program. Sheree, thank you so much for what you're doing and your hard work and to all those technicians uh, working around the clock. Appreciate it. Thank you, Lauren. You guys have always been a big support of ours, and we, we appreciate all that you do. And just thank you for helping us get the word out. Happy to do it. Take care, Sheree.